what's good it's your boy sorry all rights reserved coming to you with another one this kind of crazy it's a mix i'm kind of torn between two different stories that seem like it could possibly match up now baltimore the location that i'm talking about Jalen ferguson when they finally found out the cause of his death and this story are far apart but at the same time it's close enough that it could be in connection in some other way and you'll get my thinking. I'm going to post the other story below. There was a huge fentanyl bust in New Jersey, okay? Now, Jalen Ferguson, a wonderful football player on the Baltimore Ravens, recently has been found deceased. And the cause of death has been revealed as cocaine laced with fentanyl, allegedly. This is what they're alleging is his cause of death. Now, being this case, I first want to say, Everybody who's still messing with cocaine and things of that sort, by now, you should already have it in your head that I got to get away from this. Stop doing it. I'm telling you, yo, listen to me. And I know people who have a habit, I'm not saying go check yourself in. What you should do, though, it's optional. You're grown men and women. The one thing I will say, stop it. Just stop. It was never made to be consumed in that way. This was used, everybody talks about the basis of it being in Coca-Cola, all that stuff. I'm not saying that's untrue. What I am saying, it was used in moderation. You are not chemists. You are not lab techs. You do not know what people are mixing in this powder. Now, I'm saying this, and my thing is, YouTube ain't going to push this either. Because I'm telling you the truth, yo. You do not want to mess with that. I'm telling you. I can go down a list of people I know personally that are gone. Because they mess with that. People cut it in their oxycodone. People cut it in different things they had. Some people even cut it in their green. You have to know people who don't move that way. Even then, you got to be careful. I'm telling you guys, you got to leave the powder alone. I'm telling you. He was an awesome player. Yo, his future was so bright. <laughs> but now, it's messed up because he had some fun at a party or whatever the situation was. He ingested cocaine. That is not something you could do in moderation to measure. You are not a chemist. Plus, the feeling you get from it, you're not even worried about the dangers. You want that feeling. When you're chasing, let me tell y'all something. When you're chasing a high of powder, pills, you want to know the problem. The problem is, the very, very first time you got high off of it, you'll never achieve it again. Because it hits those endorphins, those different cells in your brain. And... When it's done, it burns them out. You'll never get that high again. I'm talking to you people. Scientifically, you'll never get that high again, ever. I'm trying to tell you. That's why people do it and do it and do it and chase the high, do more and more and more, and then they end up burning that cell out. And then they risk because cocaine reaches your central nervous system. That's why uh, marijuana does not do the same thing. It does not travel through the central nervous system. Okay, it travels through other moves and we could conversate about that. If you don't know, you could look it up. But cocaine, look it up. It doesn't travel through anything but your central nervous system. That's why you can overdose. Trust me, there are scientific things. Heroin, too. <coughs> Oxycodone, too. I'm trying to tell you guys, I'm trying to heal people and bring them back mentally. That is not something in moderation you can control. Not at all. You're going to check yourself up out of here. Doctors use those things in medicine, but it's in such small doses, you don't even realize it. If you want to have something, go to a doctor, get a prescription, let them prescribe what you need. Stop taking this stuff, powder, pills off the street. Powder and pills is no good. Trust me. Nothing good comes from it. And I can say that because I have experience with all of that, even with medication I had to take. I had to take medication that involved these things. I'm telling you, there's nothing nice about it. I tried my hardest to get up off medicine when they prescribed it. And it was oxycodone and it was things like Adderall. I, I tried to get off of it. I didn't like it. When off of it, I felt much better. Guys, stop it. Look at the, this Baltimore Raven. He was a superstar waiting to blood excuse me, to blow. And look what happened. One night of party and his life's over. This is not fair to his family, to his friends, to whoever he mattered to. 
Come on, y'all. You got to stop this, guys. You got to. You have to. If you have a habit, please reach out and get help. The powder and pills is no good. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you. It's no good. Read this story. When you think about it in context of real life, it's sad. Because he was such an amazing player. And over one time of partying, doing whatever he did, that was all taken away. All he achieved. Guys, you got to do better. I'm telling you. For some reason, nobody's going to kick it to you guys like this. I don't know why guys don't talk to you like, yo, it travels through your central nervous system. You're going to check yourself out. Why don't people talk to you like that? No matter if you have a little bit, a lot, if fentanyl's in, trust me, fentanyl's even worse. That's what took them out. Fentanyl, you can't even, they have to measure it in like milligrams. Do you know how serious that is? Like one milligram for a, per, for a grown man, 200 plus pounds is more than enough. If not enough that some can overdose. You don't understand. Fentanyl is so powerful. It is not made to do this. Trust me. You're talking to someone that witness had to endure, be part of a fentanyl drip. Understand, it is not a joke. It is no game. You don't have a doctor. You don't have a chemist. You don't have no one there who knows what they're talking about. And then these guys are cutting in their basement. Clowns cutting up in the basement. Clowns. You think these you think these dudes measuring anything? They're just slapping something together to sell it. Come on, man. Y'all got to think. And I'm talking mainly to the African American men that I see out there involved in doing this. I witnessed. Leave the powder and pills alone. Get a doctor, get prescribed. And get your head right. It is not a game. It is not a game. And why do I say this? Okay. I say this because you guys don't understand. There is a sharp increase in fentanyl being mixed with these different designer drugs you guys are purchasing. And I'm telling you now. They're mixing it bad. There's been an increase of overdoses of over 30%. Do you know what that means? That means if I'm looking at 300 people and it's 30 percent out of that 300, that means I know 30 of them are going to overdose for a fact. 300 people, 30 are dead. They're here right now. They're dead tomorrow. I'm trying to tell you. I try to help you guys. Y'all still going to go party with your head up like a Muppet with your mouth open and go party. Then you won't be going the next day. I'm trying to help you. You guys don't listen. I'm trying to help you, yo. It's dangerous. You got to stay away from the pills and the powder. Telling you. It's no good. If a doctor isn't testing it, isn't prescribing it, stay away from it. That's my advice. Whether you're a child, a teenager, a young man, a young woman. I'm trying to tell you. Understand. There's more at stake for your family. You don't know how they feel when you're gone. You don't know that. You don't understand. This is a man who's lost friends from this very thing. Okay. Here today, going tomorrow. Couple funerals I had to attend. Just last year. No, the year before last. Sorry. Come on, man. You got to think. And I'm also saying this because there was strange revelations and a story we were doing. Where the young boy was scared because his mom was popping drugs right in front of him. Tell me I'm lying, y'all. Y'all know what I'm talking about. She was popping mollies right in front of him. Thought it was slick. They cut it with molly too. Fentanyl is a very key ingredient that if it's cut in small intervals, but people don't measure it, it can give you a person that high. They'll chase it. Stop chasing the high. You'll never get it again. Never. Okay, you get me? You'll never get it in. Ever. Stop. You burnt those cells out. You're doing it in vain. I'm telling you. Man. Shh. And dude still ain't going to listen. That's what that's what hurts me the most. I reach out to y'all to tell y'all real stuff. Tell you the, the numbers, percentages. You're not going to listen. Sadly, 30 people that could have possibly seen this video are going to be gone. 
But I tried to say it because they're chasing the pills and powder. Stop. Don't do it. Don't do it. Stop it. Seek help. You don't need it. All rights reserved.